Hi everyone, this is Yana Smakula and welcome to another Hero Arts video tutorial. I will be using a beautiful For You color layering stamp set to create a simple one layer encouragement card today. However, I will not be using the stamp set as intended as color layering, but will break it into layers and will use those layers individually to get more out of this set. Here I have a panel of white cardstock that measures four and a quarter by five and a half inches, and I'm going to first stamp a sentiment and will later stamp lots of flowers around the sentiment to frame it. I'm stamping Be Your Own Kind of Beautiful from the Dare to Dream set using Hero Arts black dye ink. I'm trying to align it here on my panel and stamp it in the center. Now, it's not perfectly stamped. You might notice that B is lacking some ink, but it's okay. I will be heat embossing this sentiment later to add some shine to my card, so that imperfect stamping doesn't really matter much at this point. I'm also adding an additional Love You sentiment from the color layering for you set and stamping it in the ultra pink ink. I'm trying to align it so that the letter Y sits in between the words your and own. And the final sentiment reads, be your own kind of beautiful, love you. I'm adding a couple of little hearts under the sentiment, just as little addition here. You can never go wrong with a few hearts on your card. I'm going to start stamping my flowers now. I needed to stamp the sentiment first so that I would know where the flowers have to go. Sentiment acts as a guide for me in this particular case and it helps me decide where my edge stamping needs to be. Like I said earlier, I'll be using the Color Layering for You stamp set. Color layering means that you have a few layers, a few images, that are meant to be stamped one on top of the other to create one beautiful multicolored image. However, it doesn't mean that we can't use individual layers on their own. This is what I'm going to do for this card. The flower that I'm using has three layers, and I'll use each of them separately to stamp a beautiful design onto my project. I will be using three colors of ink, soft vanilla, soft cantaloupe, and ultra pink. The color of ink will go with a particular layer, and I will use the darkest pink with the top layer. This layer appears to be the smallest, or the lines of this stamp appear to be thinner. So this is why I'm using it with the most vibrant color of ink. I am following the rule of a triangle here and stamping this layer or this flower three times around the sentiment. I'm also making sure that I do not stamp the flowers completely onto my panel and I let the design to go outside my panel slightly. Now moving on to the medium layer and using my medium color, soft cantaloupe. Again, trying to follow the triangle rule and stamping a flower next to each one stamped in pink. I'm adding one additional flower here, as I feel I have too much empty space on the left. I'm done with stamping my flowers for now, and I will add the third layer later. I need to stamp a few leaves. I will be using just one image, but two colors of ink, and will double stamp each one, slightly offsetting the top layer. So I'm using soft leaf ink to stamp the first layer and stamping several leaves filling in any gaps in my design and once again making sure that this image goes outside the edge of the panel. For the second layer I'm using soft green ink and stamping the same image over previously stamped one but offsetting it slightly. This leaf image actually has two layers, the solid layer and the detail one. I'm only using the detail layer for my stamping today. Now I can go back to my flower image and I'm going to add the third layer here. I will be doing lots of overlapping, so I'm using soft vanilla ink and stamping it in three sections on my panel. This is a solid image, a solid stamp, so I'm using the lightest color of ink here so that it doesn't distract much from the overall design of my card. Lastly, I'm stamping several smaller leaf images using ultra pink ink. You would expect the leaves to be stamped in green, but I felt like I could add some more pink, so I went with pink here. So you can see that even though I used a color layering stamp set, I was able to break down the flower layers into individual images, individual flowers, and stamped all of them separately for a unique and artistic look. At the moment this panel is almost done and it actually can be used as is or it can be taken one step further with heat embossing. 
I use my heat tool to quickly dry the ink on the paper, although you can actually let it air dry. Hero Arts dye inks usually dry pretty quickly. And now I'm using my anti-static powder tool and prepping the sentiment for heat embossing. I'm going to heat emboss identical sentiment over the stamped one, but I will offset it slightly, offset the heat embossed one, so that it has a little bit of a black colored shadow. This is why it didn't really matter if the stamped sentiment was absolutely perfectly stamped. Because my stamps are clear, it is very easy to see where I'll be stamping the sentiment, and it's very easy to offset it however I like. I'm using Hero Arts Brass Embossing Powder for my embossing today, however other colors should work just as nice. My ink wasn't completely dry and I got some embossing powder where I didn't want it, so I'm now using a dry paintbrush and just brushing off the extra powder. I'm going to use my heat tool and heat set it to melt. I also heat embossed the top layer of the color layering flower in three sections onto this background, just to add a little bit more sparkle and shine. Lastly, I foam mounted this panel onto a card base created out of light yellow cardstock. And here's one more look at this card. Very simple and easy to make, and this technique really does help you stretch your color layering stamps. I hope you enjoyed this video and I was able to inspire you to create. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments section on YouTube or on Hero Arts blog. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye!